uh, this video is continuation for the previous video so we have discussed how to prepare for the EDC course for gate exam now for what books we have to prepare prefer right so my first preference should be solid state electronic devices by Ben G Streetman if you follow this book for these concepts I'm sure we will get 100% of the marks there is no doubt concepts as well as some pro problems so then we have to do some more problems from the previous gate question papers then you can get 100% the next preference book is integrated electronic circuits by Milman Halkias the next so we can get approximately so both are same we will get uh, concepts wise but my preference should be this one because what is the reason is if you see the book so this is a solid state electronic devices by Benji Streetman Sanjay Kumar Banerjee if you follow the what is the syllabus in this book here is as it is in the gate uh, syllabus energy bands and charge carriers in semiconductors the nexus carriers in semiconductors pn junctions then bjt etc and uh, there is uh, some formulas given in this the first pages if i if you follow these formulas at least you will get two to marks one two two marks or two to three marks etc there is no doubt those formulas are like what is a fermi dirac distribution function probability of the occupancy of the electrons similarly an in intrinsic concentration then uh, what is the poisson equation then uh, drift velocity versus the electric field then current density then continuity equation then diffusion length then pn junctions there is a built-in potential and uh, the depletion layer width formulas then current equations right then we'll have some other uh, other formulas also if you follow these formulas you will get or we will get in the gate exam at least two marks there is no doubt that's why we have to prepare the prefer this test first test book then we can follow this also then one more book is there micro electron circuits by Sidran Smith right now what my uh, suggestion is if you prepare for 10 days or at least 7 days so I'm sure we will get 7 to 80 percent of the marks from this suppose 11 marks are given so we will get at least 8 marks from this there is no doubt if my our preparation is very good so we will get 100 percent right now my strategy is so we will start with these bands that is like semiconductor types then what is thermal voltage then diffusion drift currents energy bands there is generation and recombination some equations conductivities then pn junction diode bjt and mosfet right if you follow this concept and by doing the previous gate problems under the textbook problems right this is the how we need to start the preparation at least seven days is sufficient there is no doubt but practice concept then practice now i can show some examples the previous gauge question, question papers also this is like so this is like a diff, diffusion uh, concept so what is the electric field we need to find similarly this is the energy band concept so conduction band is there valence band is there so there is a energy donor level so what is the type of the semiconductor or what is the impurities we need to add similarly this concept is the energy band diagram and the electron density profile is given so we need to find the electron current density that is j is equal to density so depending on the diffusion only so we will get q into dn into dn by dx some formulas we have to use similarly if you go to the second bjt concept in the previous paper see this question consider a silicon p-n junction with a uniform acceptor do doping concentration Na is given and uh, piece acceptor that is Na on the piece side and uniform donor Nd is given the external load is applied so find the charge per unit junction area right so this formula is like this so q plus is equal to q into Na into xn into capital A so 
P side is equal to N side charge distribution. So that formulas we have to use. Similarly, some layout concept is given. We can find what is current here. Energy energy gap. What is the energy gap between these three metals? Depending on that relation, we need to find. Now, similarly, different. This question is finding the electric field. Right? We know some formulas. Then we can find easily the uh, apply the, those concepts. Then we can get the marks. Right? So this is how to prepare the EDC course. So all the best for the preparation of this EDC course. Right? We'll see in the next videos how to do some problems in EDC also. Right?